good. We're still in morning. I made it to the morning a little bit later than I normally go live. So I know it's going to affect viewership because normally you guys are used to me being live at nine o'clock, but busy, busy morning. Um, and I did not want to like not come on. And I know once I get started with my day, like really, really get started and like start to press, I'm going to be live again to press these shirts, but I got to go like full speed ahead today. So I, will, I won't be able to do like a regular live Q&A. You're going to see a couple watch me works. So let me get this in right, 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 right now. Um, as far as just the regular Q&A and just sit and be able to talk to you guys without me physically working on crafts or at the heat press. So how are you guys doing this morning? Um, I am Shakia, the professor of Silaholics Anonymous and the product line, Honestly Speaking. As you can see right above there, which right now, oops, it looks so bad because I'm missing a few products up there because I had to reset cartridge, well, refill and reset cartridges. So I'm missing a little bit of product up there. And then that's the one that I took out uh, last night and I was talking about the product. Forgot to reset. But it's okay. Y'all already know it's we are the home of the Change the Game Summation Paper. Uh, the amazing, incredible Salvation Ink and Pigment Ink, um, honestly speaking. So today's live broadcast is brought to you by the letters H, S, I, N, and K. The numbers three, six, and five, which are the brand letters and numbers for our um, company and our products. So you can um, get any of our amazing products our templates, our files, chip resetters, color charts, all of that over on hsinc365.com. Again, that is hsinc365.com. All right. We will be on for a little bit here. I do these live broadcasts to be able to answer your questions in real time. Um, if you have questions about summation, about crafting, about business, about Silhouette Studio, I forgot to show as far as sizing. I'm pretty sure she's probably not going to be on here. Maybe she is on here. Someone asked about sizing. She said she can never get her sizes right in Silhouette Studio. So and since so since I'm about to print the last shirt, um, actually, I have one. I have two more to print. Um, I'm going to, nope, three more to print. I'm going to go and just show sizing within Silhouette Studio. So we are going to do that. Something that's like, you know pre-planned. It's not going to be a direct question, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to go ahead and ask those questions. Okay. Um, we're going to be on for about, this is going to be a shorter one. Um, 45 minutes at the most is where I'm trying to cap off at, uh, at the latest an hour. I'm shutting it down at that point because I got to get back to work, but I do miss doing the lives and the Q&A where I'm just sitting here and answering questions for you guys versus like me working and then trying to somewhat see the questions. All right. So I'm going to go through, say hello, hello, hello to a few people. And if you have questions, go ahead and start posting those questions. I am going, like I said, start off with Silhouette Studio and um, just show like sizing because someone had that question last time. Okay. All right. Let's see every single time. Hello, Cassandra. Reed, how art thou? Mom, Miss Williams, how are you? Don, hi, Bar Miss Barnes. Beverly Smith, hey, just say, hey, just say. Ooh, I saw your Tumblr. Good morning, Grand Rising. I hate the color. Have I told y'all how much I hate the color in my office? Oh, you know what? I don't have on the top light. It's so yellowing in here. Uh, that doesn't do very much. I have to change out the, the paint there. So hopefully after this party, I'll be able to do that. Miss Bacon, how art thou? Paula D. Full of sugar, Miss Deidre, how are you? Yes, definitely go ahead and smash that like button. Hey, Miss Sonia, you're watching from two platforms. Thank you. Uh, Sundoris Miles, if I did I say it right? Hey, Trina Trina. Hello, Anita, Miss Williams. Miss Adams, how art thou? Hey, Danny. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning. All right, y'all. Um, you guys can start posting your questions. I'm going to jump into this. I'm going to pull up my 
silhouette screen because I have to size up this one. Oh, come on. But feel free to start posting your questions. How are you guys doing? What do you guys have planned for the weekend? Have you guys finished your shopping for Thanksgiving? Because y'all know the stores are going to be crazy. I have to go get some sweet potatoes because that's the one thing that's going to probably be gone very, very fast. Sweet potatoes and collard greens, collard greens, as Medea would say. Um, I got to go get those because it'll be a fight. It's about to be a what? Food fight um, for food when it comes. And everything is in shortage. Like every, there's a shortage on everything, everything. So if you haven't, try and get out there early. Sometimes that's the joys of being an entrepreneur and working for yourself. You don't have to clock into someone's job to where if you need to, you can take off in the middle of the day and go get your shopping done while everybody else is at work. So take advantage of the fact that you are your own boss and you don't have to clock in with anybody. Where are you at? She said it's afternoon on my end. Where are you at? Because it's still morning on the East Coast over here. Yes, Fridays um, Fridays are general Q&As on both platforms. So Mondays is strictly Silhouette Studio related. Um, Wednesdays, it's more of, I kind of do like, it's almost like it's it really does turn into like a sublimation chat. And then Fridays is like, open. So it can be silhouettes. It can be um, business stuff, sublimation stuff, craft stuff, paper crafting, all of that kind of good jazz. Okay. Um, I haven't had an opportunity to, we haven't been able to clean out, clear out the office or anything like that. It's going to go up. It's sitting back there. It's just been super busy. It went from one to the next and the next. And then this was a really busy week because I have the party on Saturday. So after Saturday, I have a little bit of break. And then in December, I'm not doing any live zooms so we'll have a little bit of time in december to get to get that done that one weekend we were going to try and do it we just didn't get in here same here going to get mines after work this evening gotta go get my greens too and some sharp cheddar cheese ah okay we just lucked up on chicken necks for gumbo. Um, great, both my ring and phone tripod broke. Oh no, how do I go live from my computer on Facebook? Um, so you can use a couple of different things. Um, so you're wanting to do what, just your screen? Or you have like a webcam and you're going to use that to go live. So you can do the program, like the app, the, the one that I use, which is StreamYard. I pay for mine. If you don't pay for it, you will have like the StreamYard logo at the top and you are limited in how much time that you can be online. So I pay for mine so that I can stream on multiple platforms all at one time. So that's an option. The other option is going, you just go straight live on there. Now you won't be able to share your screen and have a camera if you go straight live from Facebook. You have to choose one or the other. Share your screen or have like actual video. And you just go to like your group or your page and you hit go live and set everything up. There's also a free software called OBS. October Bravo Sierra or October, October, October Bravo. Well, I actually still know it's like Sierra Miss Santa. So that's, um, it's called OBS. It is a free, um, it's called, um, it's basically stands for open broadcasting system service. One of those, and it allows you to stream and you'll have to set up channels. So that one's a little bit more technical. I used that one before. I wish I can go back because I have what's called a stream deck and I can just hit a button to flip to different screens and add different things on there. You can set it up for all sorts of things, but it was making my video very glitchy. So I stopped using it. Um, they have had some updates. I'm hoping I can go back to that setup. 
I'll still use it within StreamYard, but it just makes it so much easier to switch because here I'm constantly having to switch stuff and it aggravates my soul. Uh, but it's called OBS. You can use that. And with that one, once you set up your different scenes, you can switch between camera and sharing your screen. So those are the three, well, mainly two. So I've used StreamYard and I use OBS. There is another one called Restream. You can use that also. I don't have any real experience with Restream. Graduation for me tomorrow. Be um, bachelor's in business. Ooh, with a SBE certification. Okay, yes. Let's congratulate Miss Williams. Woohoo! Awesome. That is a great accomplishment. So yes, on Mondays at 9 a.m., I do designing in Silhouette Studio. So I go off of your questions, like people will submit different things and say, okay, how do I design this? So I do that on Mondays at 9 a.m. I purchased the vault. I saw the replay yesterday when you were showing what's included. When you mentioned foam board, where do you purchase and did you cut it? With, no, you cannot cut foam board with a silhouette. It's way too thick. Um, I personally use Elmer's foam board. I get mine from Walmart. Whenever I see them, I pretty much take them all uh, because that's it's least ex it's less expensive at Walmart than it is at like Michaels and places like that. If you have a coupon, it becomes less expensive at Michaels. But then you can only like use one coupon at a time when you have like the 50 percent off. And they're like $2.99 or $1.99, $2.99, I think, at Michael's. I get them for $1.77 at Walmart. So I only use Elmer's phone board. Good morning. I'm cooking for myself. So hope to find a partial turkey breast at the store. When I go in a few, uh, being alone doesn't mean you can't eat good. I know that's right. I, I find it very hard for me to cook in smaller portions, even when it was just me. I would have food for days because I don't know how to cook in small portions. Yes, right? Congratulations. Woohoo. Yep, y'all give it up. Drop those congratulations um, and those shout outs in the comments. Let's congratulate our craft, um, our craft sister on her big accomplishments. Um, yes, you can Google to find more places. Yeah, so if you want to share your screen also, you have to use StreamYard, Restream, or OBS. You are very welcome. Okay, so I'll wait for the next set of questions, but I'm going to share my screen again. And... I need to change out this one that said Cuzzo and then put Granny in there. So I'm going to use the melon that's there, which hmm, it was pretty much lined up already. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, but the G looks, why does this look so small? All right, so we're going to make that a little bit bigger here. That G and that C somewhat lines up. I'm just going to make it just a little bit bigger. I mean, it is grandma. So all right. Put that like that. I need to ungroup this so that I can move the little bug so she's not like just hanging there. So we're going to move her like that. Um, I also want to change this. What color do I want to give my grandma? Um, I think I want hers to be different than everyone else's. So let's give her the blue from in here. It's a softer color. All right. So I'm going to select everything here at the top and group it. And then I'm going to select Granny Melon and, oops, select Granny Melon with it and center it. Hoo-hoo, I was right on the money, right on, wait, wait, do I have it? Hold on before I say that. Yeah, I was right on the money. So now that that is like that, here's the thing though. Um, 
my G and my N are outside of the main picture. When you are sizing something, it is going to go off of, girl, done yesterday. <laughs> uh, mind your business. <laughs> um, but it is going to be outside. Like it, it. Whenever you size, your width is going to be based off of the furthest point from the left to the right. Same thing with your height, top to bottom. So this word kind of goes outside of it just a little bit, right? I could do this one of two ways. This part right here, I'm gonna, hopefully this doesn't shut down on me. Um, I'm gonna make a couple duplicates. This right here, if I were to make it where it is the size of the clouds, right? I could make that part a little bit smaller, which now I kind of wish I did make it a little bit smaller. And then if need be, everything else becomes bigger because I can now make this much larger and it will kind of flow with it. If I had it like I had it before, um, where I maxed out the like granny melon. So I'm going to put this back over here and I'm just going to pull this to where I max out granny melon to fit, which we don't have to do. My grandmother is so small. It's ridiculous. Uh, my cousin said, give her a small shirt. I feel like my grandma going to wear extra small. She, she's so little. She's so little. Okay. So here I've maxed out the granny. It's not much of a difference, but you can see that the cloud hangs out a little bit more. The S is a, hangs out a little bit more because you're able to make the center part bigger um, as far as wider to still fit within it because the granny melon is within the, like the edge of the clouds. I could have easily had this, like some people say, you know, how do you know how to size it? It really depends on how you arrange it. If this was something where when you first set it up, it was small like this and you had the name big, that middle part is going to look much smaller. The granny is the same way. The middle part is different. It's all in how you set up your file. It's all in how you set up your file that would determine like the size of it and to get it to the right size. Um, I actually kind of, she's going to be the only one <laughs> that hers that has hers within there. Um, I did 11 and a half for everyone because this was a bulk order. I don't really go like, that's another thing too. You don't have to go to where you're making smalls this size mediums this size, large this size. You don't have to do it that way. When I'm doing bulk orders, uh, pretty much from small to large, extra large, sometimes I'll do extra large with the two X's if I have like a lot of them, but I pretty much do it at the same size because if I ever do screen print transfers, that's normally what I have to do. I'm not gonna pay for a few of like for a small size and like, cause that's a different screen. That's a different setup fee for each one of those. So I normally pretty much max it out and everyone gets that same print. Yes, it is going to appear larger on smaller shirts because it's going to take up more surface space. It is going to appear smaller on much larger shirts because it's going to take up less surface space of the shirt, but the print itself is the same size. So with all the ones that I did yesterday, they were all at 11 and a half. And I almost changed the one for MJ's shirt. And I was like, you know what, whatever, it's MJ. He'll be okay. And it actually turned out really good. His was an adult extra small because I didn't have any more youth um, 2XLs or XLs. So I just gave him an adult extra small. And um, it is like, the print doesn't look, I have to find it over there in that pile, but it doesn't look bad on it. I, first I was gonna, I went back and forth. Do I wanna reprint it? I was like, whatever, he'll get this one. And it doesn't look bad. So I personally don't go through the whole making it different sizes. 
Um, it allows me to press them a lot faster. So no matter what size shirt, especially if it's things like, okay, they say cousin, I don't have to worry about, okay, it was this particular cousin for this particular size. They're all the same. So I had what, like three or four cousins um, that were, no, I had five that were medium sized shirts. It was just different images on there. They can pick out whichever one they want because it's all the same size on those shirts. So it just makes for speed of production when you do it that way. There are so many different var variables when it comes to this. I, um, in my classes and stuff like that, I like to teach about the actual production part of your business. There are a lot of people who teach about the business side. You got to have a balance of both. I'm only one person. I can't teach it all. That's why I love the fact that I work well with Kiana from Craft Sisters University. Um, I help her out with things like she helps me we always say it's always great that we are not the smartest person in the room uh, when we're together or when we're on the phone when we're together because there are things that I add value to her and she adds value to me. And then when I watch like her videos, she finds out things. When, when, I, when I watch her videos, you know, I um, find value in it and the same thing, vice versa. And she does great with like the business side of it. I like to talk about the production, things that you really don't think about, those things as far as not having to try to stress your brain out by sizing everything down. Then you have to go and really have a list or you have to mark each one that this was for the extra shirt or you're spending so much time holding it up. Okay, wait, which one was the bigger one? Okay, this is for this. That that cuts into your money. That time, like literally that cliche or that phrase uh, well, I didn't say, mean to say literally then, but that cliche or that phrase literally is the most important like phrase when it comes to a small business person that does customized stuff. Time is money. The more time that you spend where you're not actually completing the order is money down the drain because then you could be working on something else. So you have to literally live by time is money when you're doing customized things. If you have to spend any amount of time doing this, doing all this extra stuff, it's taking away, it's just taking away time that you can work on the next order or get this done faster and be able to profit more. Um, like with using our paper, I don't do all of that other foolishness. I don't have time to limp brush all these shirts. I don't have time to tape things down, put butcher paper or parchment paper on the inside, cutting it off to put it on. <laughs> Nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that, okay? That's why if you want to save time, you want to increase your profit, I don't know what you're waiting on. You got to get you some honestly speaking products. Get, 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 you got You need it in your life. You want it in your life. But that's just how I operate when I'm doing orders. So, and trying to work strategic, like right now I'm about to work on the, I designed everything, printed them all out, had them cut, which I have to do two more sets because it got all messed up. So I have to print out two more sets of the gable boxes, but I'm going to go assembly line of all of that. I did all of these. I just have to do like some of the finer details. Hold on. Let me, let me back that thing up. You an incredible designer. Won't you back that thing up? Okay, hold on. All right, there we go. So there, I mean, I have to do the details of her hair. Okay, but he's done. And then this one. And they're on phone boards, so they're low profile. And hopefully, at some point, you guys will get to see me cut Cody. But if I don't get to him, unless you're up with me at like 1 o'clock in the morning, you may not get to see me cut Cody. I'm not going to do him right right now. Um, I'll probably do him later. There's some other stuff I have to do. It's going to take more time. Well, I need to get those done because this is just going to be a matter of cutting it out and then putting the bracket and the rods on the back. But this is the last one that I have to cut out and cut the details on 
I did the details on her. So I cut all the way around her hair, but I have to finish around her hair. And I got to do all of her hair. Ooh, this is like doing Zion Imani's hair. Zion Imani's hair is no fun to do. So yeah. Um, am I going to show how I stand them up? Yes and no. You'll see them standing up. I'll flash it, but I will not be revealing my secret of how I do that. No, ma'am. No, I will not. <laughs> um, you have such a steady hand when you cut. I've been cutting. Thank you for that. I, I used to cut everything by hand. If you look at that party for my sister, that under the sea, oh, I tell y'all it was so many fish. I had to hand cut the fish like out of the paper. And I also had to hand cut all of the foam board that it's on. This was way before I had a silhouette. So I've, I've learned to be very steady with my hand. Um, OMG, I used to do different sizes for each shirt when I was doing vinyls. Uh, so time consuming, but it looked weird if I didn't. Yeah, I don't, yeah, most times with that too, I'm going to have like a standard set size because um, I do the same thing with screen print transfers. I just got my Cameo 4. Now I got to get your classes. Yes, you do. Because uh, the only thing I know how to do in Silhouette is print. I know Cricut uh, very well, though. Um, all of my classes, not my memberships, my classes are on sale uh, from Black Friday through Cyber Monday. We might even release it a little bit earlier. We don't know. You know, maybe, maybe. Get on the email list. Um, but... We have a Cricut to Silhouette crossover. That's going to help you bridge the gap in what you normally would do in Cricut design space and understanding how to do that in Silhouette Studio. But you really just have to learn Silhouette Studio for Silhouette Studio. The same way, like you can't, just because they both are considered craft um, companies and have like craft machines, you have to really like disconnect that and not think of it as learning cricket or learning silhouette because you already know cricket. Think of it as if you just want to, you know, you can have a cricket, you can know cricket design space, but you want to learn Photoshop, you want to learn Illustrator. Silhouette Studio is a great gateway or beginner graphic designing program. You have to think about the program by itself because there's a lot that you can do in it. My sister just asked me to do a co to do coca melon for her uh, grandbaby. I watched you doing the gable boxes last night. I do the same thing with those sizes. Exactly. First time catching me live. Well, hello, Tanya. How art thou? Hopefully it will not be your last. Are you off today where you catch me live or I'm catching you on your lunch break? Um, it's not glossy paper. That's actually vinyl. So this was not printed with a regular Epson printer. Those were printed on my Roland BN20, which is an eco-solvent printer. You cannot put vinyl inside of a regular like Epson printer or any of those. So it goes into there and then I laminated it. And I mean, it's shiny without it, but the laminate is really, really to protect it and make it easier for me to put it on because that Orajet is really, really thin. Um, and then I had to hand cut it because I should have let the machine cut it, but I was like, whatever, end up hand cutting it out and then putting it on the board and then cutting it with my exacto knives or utility knives. Um, are your individual classes the same thing you learn in the memberships and therefore is it better deal to buy the memberships or it, or what is the difference? No, they are not the same. Normally, my individual classes are specific things. So um, like when I have one like on designing and gra graduation stoles, it's still designing. And if I have like another design one, it's still kind of the same concepts, a lot of like tracing or cropping. It's just giving you ideas of way different ways to arrange things and stuff like that. How to use templates. Um, Essentials to Silhouette Studio is one where I guess you can say it's like my membership, but we go, we deep dive into it. We have sessions every single week. So of course, we're not repeating the same thing. We're taking it and breaking it down bit by bit by bit, breaking down, just subtracting what you can do with that, just make compound path, 
breaking down the replicate tool, breaking down the alignment tool and how you can use that. So it is very much so different um, in the membership because we are really focusing on learning to design and being, you know, and really unlocking your creativity, learning the why, not just the how. So all of my other classes, it's like um, one time ones and it's like a lot trying to cram a lot into one or two sessions um, versus being able to kind of pace yourself. There are a lot of people who are in my memberships yet they still have the a la carte classes because it's always a little different when you like, when you see it, um, when you see it used like in a different manner, you kind of pick up little things from all of them. So a lot of my students who are members, they also take some of the regular classes because once you are a member, you do get a discount on the classes. So they take full advantage, especially my doctorate students. Even when they don't want to do anything, I had doctorate students that attended the all over shirt, have no desire to do an all over shirt, but there are certain design techniques that I may have done in there that will help them with other things. So they still took the class because you do have to still pay for the a la carte classes. The membership is thebomb.com. Ah, okay. I just so happened to go on YouTube and research for Coca Melon. Um, and had no idea what it was. <laughs> yeah, it's a YouTube uh, show. Everyone needs to get Essentials to Silhouette. Yes, that my Essentials to Silhouette Studio, it breaks down all of the tools. Like it basically helps you identify them easily. So when you're watching a tutorial or you're watching like a YouTube video and they say, okay, I'm going to group. And you're like, okay, wait, they move too fast. Where do they go to group? And mine, I don't just show you the one way because everyone maneuvers the program different. When I'm helping my mother, it's frustrating because I'm used to either right clicking or going to like the icons and stuff. My mom is one where she likes to go up to the words and then find them. To me, that takes forever because you got to click on it. You got to scroll down. A lot of times you got to click again. And I'm like, lady, why don't you just right click and find it? Or why don't you just go to the icon? But in my um, essentials, let's say it's grouping. There is, I'm going to show you right here. Um, there's a couple different places you can group, right? So I can select this. I can right click and I can choose group, right? Up here is a um, icon for group. If you come over here to object, um, there is group here, and then there is the keyboard shortcut for group. So with grouping, there are one, so object group, that's one, the keyboard shortcut, you can right click to group or you can use the icon. There are four different ways to group in the program. And that's pretty standard for any design program. And people move, like move around differently. You may find someone who does YouTube videos like me who prefers to use keyboard shortcuts. So if I'm just in the zone and I'm designing, you're never going to see anything change on my computer. You're not going to see me click anything. You're not going to see me go to an icon. You're not going to see anything pop up, a drop down pop up on the screen because I typically tend to use keyboard shortcuts. It helps me maneuver faster. It's raining. Um, so you have to know those different things. So when someone just says group, if they're like, you know, I just go kind of do a quick group and you're going to go to those steps, you may end up being behind because you're trying to find it. So Essentials to Silhouette Studio really helps you identify all these things. I break down the keyboard shortcuts, like the most common ones that I use, the fact that you can find stuff, uh, you know, in many places, breaking down um, what does subtract mean, what does make compound path, what does it mean to weld, um, your text tools, spacing, all of that. So anyone who is interested in Silhouette Studio definitely needs to get Essentials to Silhouette Studio. Like I said, it will be on sale. All of my classes, except memberships, will be on sale. And they're going to be some bundles as well to where you pay one price. And like, I'll tell you, like one of them is um, out of the box, Essentials to Silhouette Studio, Text Effects, and it's something else. Oh, the Tracing Masterclass. 
So you get, oh, it's going to be a bundle where that's going to be your real beginner, beginner. Well, text effect is not necessarily beginner, but what it does is it really shows you. Like, I think that's the one course that really, really shows you the power of Silhouette Studio and the things that you can do it and how you can make things look like, oh, wow, make them look 3D and make it look like a bubble and have dimension and all of that. So those will be a bundle deal. There's going to be a bundle for a lot of my boot camps where you can get like almost every boot camp that I've done for one price. So be on the lookout for that. Join our mailing list for that so that you'll have that information about our classes and stuff. Because I always, always, that's my main thing for Black Friday is classes. Um... So for classes, there will be one, like a bundle for, to get like access to all of them, not my memberships. My memberships will not be included in that. The membership for the enrollment fee, there will be a discount, a small discount for that, but not like where it's bundled in. You still have like your, now if you end up doing like the one-time payment, of course you'll save more Um or the two time two payments, you'll save on the first one, you'll pay full price for the second one. And then your monthly, you'll pay your enrollment fee, and then your monthly payments will be the same. But it's not like they're gonna be a they're gonna be separate from the codes for everything else. So you'll have to do two different transactions if you want to buy classes and also do the membership. You'll have to do two different transactions. Um, I need to get in your, I need to get your membership. I have learned so much from your videos. Yeah, our, like I said, we do classes um, every Wednesday is our bachelors. So every Wednesday we do like going into the basics and just really going in depth on it and breaking each portion down. On those days are where you have like, I'm very patient. We take our time. If you don't get it, I encourage them to let me know. Look, don't struggle alone. I'm I don't I'm not worried if you don't get it. I don't want anyone to ever feel foolish or like they can't get it. No, nope. hey, are you on your computer that that you're working on? If you are, come on, let's share that screen. Let's see which step you missed and help them go through it. We also try and go through things twice. So you may have missed it the first time, then the second time you do it, you know, it'll be a lot easier. So our bachelor sessions really are made for beginners. If you are someone that's a little, you know, you have a look, you know, you may, I'm not going to say you'll get bored, but we wait for people to really get it. Like, you know, I always ask them, give me a thumbs up once you have completed that. So I know to move on. I try not to move on too fast. That's why we take it one piece at a time. Like we literally focus on like one thing on that Wednesday so that people can um, catch up. And if there's like a little delay, they're watching me on one device and they're trying to do it on their computer. So Wednesdays are really, really great for beginners. Um, never feel like you're gonna be left behind. No one will ever make you feel like, okay, why in the heck you don't know this? Like I, we take the time to make sure that, you know, you can get as best of an understanding as you can. You know, eventually we will have to move on and you may not get it for that one, but you get the playback and you can go back and practice it. And then maybe the next um, thing that we do, you'll be able to kind of catch on from there. And then it's going to gradually get a little bit more, and I say intense, but I want to, even with the doctorate, I mean, the bachelor's program, to where by the end, you, you're going to have a collection of designs that are yours and you can sell them. You can, um, you know, um, you can sell them like digital files. You can make, use them for yourself. So some of the sessions for even for bachelors, we end up creating a design. When we did the alignment, we created a breast cancer design. So it was showing them, you know, about aligning to the left, aligning to the right, to the bottom, to make sure that things are spaced. And they had a beautiful design that was for breast cancer awareness month. Um, so that's kind of how that works. When we did split text, we did... I think that was also a, a breast cancer one. So it said, I am a survivor, but someone went and she combined that and she put images with it. It looked amazing when she showed us what she learned from the class and she did a split text. I want to say it said melanin and then she had this image on it. Beautiful. So you'll be able to really create your own custom designs that you can then sell. You know that 
um, you know, I told myself, y'all might want to put on there, you know, TPTM. So people will know if this, if you have this design on your Etsy shop, your site, and the professor taught you, I already know that she don't play that. So it's not going to be pixelated. It's not going to be all jacked up because I tell my students, don't put nothing out there that, that's crazy. Like really work on it, get it done. And then you can sell your files and things like that. Um. Thank you, thank you. Um, have a good day. Off to run errands. I'll finish watching this later and maybe see you working later. Have a good weekend. It is pouring down rain. I don't know what's going to happen with this party. Um, all right. Any other questions? We only did one silhouette one. I mean, I mean, we still... Ooh. Oh, that was my butcher paper falling. I was like, what was that? It's raining. It's pouring. Please don't let the lights go out because I have too much work to finish for tomorrow. It's raining. It's pouring. Please don't let the lights go out because I have too much work to do <laughs> before the morning. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it is pouring it was just sunny and now it is literally pouring i know and we're trying to tell my cousin that that this party's tell y'all now all this work i'm doing it's fucking right now right now i'm gonna be mad i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna be mad mad i'm gonna be mad i'm gonna be mad i am going to be mad i am going to be mad i am to tell her it's gonna rain all weekend long she don't want to listen all right, let me print out my grandmother's stuff since y'all aren't, you know, you gotta have extra questions, guys. Because I got I gotta, I'm gonna end up going live again. So I have more shirts. I have, let's see, let's look at the list. I have now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Brian's shirt is 10. Now watch tonight, who I don't see on this list. I don't see Justina. I don't see Quan. I don't see Miss Hartitz. I don't see, well, Teresa never sent me her kids. That's already like four people. Now watch, my family gonna be last minute. I'm, I, what I might end up doing is just printing out some that just has her picture and just put um, like just her picture and put like either just, um, I don't know if I wanna put, I don't know what I'm put on there, but something and I'm not going in and putting titles. Y'all going to get a generic shirt for being last minute. But I'm going to go on live to do those shirts here. Oh, wait. Did I miss one? Yeah, I'm going to go live to those shirts shortly here. Um, I still have to do the gable boxes um, and stuff all of this. Uh, well, she only brought me the, what's those things called? Fruit snacks. I have to just cut up the water bottle labels. Those we can literally put on. I don't take off the label, so we can literally put those on five seconds before the party starts. Um, My bundles, it's technically scheduled for Black Friday. That's what I'm putting out there. But it'll take you it, just um, if you check our website tomorrow. There's going to be a pop-up that says, be the first to know about Black Friday deals. And that is going to be the best way to know about the Black Friday deals and the early releases. So um, check back on the website tomorrow and you should see that pop-up to be notified about Black Friday deals. If Silhouette is glitchy, is it on my end or theirs? It's going to be on yours. Silhouette Studio is not a uh, cloud-based program. So nothing that happens on the Silhouette side is going to affect yours. It's the program itself. Version 4 is not the greatest. It has a lot of great features, but it's not the greatest. 
my like a lot of this stuff um if i didn't do a live video with it where i was showing it to like my members i've gone live and i've shown them like me designing certain stuff well okay so technically one of them i showed them after the fact because i did not do it in four and i didn't want to confuse them i don't like version four very much my favorite version is version 3.6 um, it worked. I mean, I've been doing this for years. I created uh, most of the templates that's going to be in my vault. It was, they were designed from version three. Like I've had them for years. It's just that there are some things that make life a little bit easier, like being able to kind of save those colors in your color palette, like little things like that makes it a little bit easier, but I prefer to design in version, uh, version three. And I designed it in there first, and then I opened it up over here, and I was kind of showing them how I laid it out. But unless, if I'm not doing a video where I'm actually showing and demonstrating something, nine times out of ten, I'm on my laptop and I'm using version um, using version three. So version four, just when they were creating it, it has a lot of glitches to it, um, especially if you don't have a pretty decent graphics card and memory. Mine actually just shut down on me. 4.4 glitches so much and it flickers. I went to it, it was flickering. Oh, no, nope. even messed me up because my foolish self did that update right before a class. I couldn't even hold class that day because it completely messed it up and it wouldn't even open back up. So I had to do a clean uninstall. So I couldn't even do class that day when I went up to that 4.4 version. And this is not a, a cheapy computer, it's a super computer, it's a, a graph, it's a gaming computer and it's still messed up. It's just, so it's technically on them because they need to fix the bugs in the program, but everyone's issues is going to be different based off of their computer. Make sense? Nah, don't text them now. She could tell them about these orders long time ago. Don't text them now. They won't be out of luck. <laughs> Try plus. With me, I can be at the party and somebody come and say, oh, I haven't get no shirt. Y'all know I'm going to run my behind home and make this shirt, right? Um, So it wasn't a membership one. Everyone on the email list. So if you are on my email list, I sent that out yesterday. So that wasn't based off of membership. Like your membership doesn't get you any, like, because it's already a really, really great price. So everyone is paying the 45 or right now it's 45. You got, um, oh wait, no, no. You guys do get one because it's always 35. But right now, if you got the email, I know which one you're talking about. The one for you guys was always 35, but I have not sent that out. But the, like there is the third one that's 35. If you're on my email list, I sent out one. I believe it's good until three o'clock from when I sent it out. So it's 24 hours. So on that email, it's the same thing. You're not going to get any less than 35. And the first email was sent out. So the one for you guys where you can always get it for 35. No, I have not sent that one out yet. Because yours will be on, it'll, it's not a code through Shopify. It'll be a code on the Academy site because you're already in the Academy. So yours will just be on, like your code will be on the Academy site, not from Shopify or from the shop site. Okay, um, thank you. I posted in the Silhouette group about my printed pictures coming out glitchy, wondering if you might have had that issue before. I didn't really see, like, I don't know what it should look like. So maybe if you show me a picture of your screen. So I did see it. But I couldn't tell what the issue was. So maybe you show a picture of your design screen so I know what it's supposed to look like compared to how it's printing out. Which version are you using? She says, thank you for answering because I got frustrated and quit and went back to Cricut. Recommend all of your fellow business persons or crafters to join all the platforms and make sure you display all of your wonderful, incredible work. All right, we are at 52 minutes. So I'm like, since I went past 45, we're going to go to 60 minutes, right at an hour, and we're going to shut it down after that. So get your questions in now because I'm going to shut it down so that I can print this stuff out and start to press. Actually, I'm going to turn on this heat press now.
Oh, the latest version? Oh, yeah. Go back to go back to one of the oldest ones. The latest version bites. It is horrible. Okay. All right, let me print out my grandma's because she's so little. Now hers, I might go a little bit smaller. She little. We're going to make her, instead of 11 and a half, we're going to make hers 11. She's so little. All right, file, print, and preferences. Everything is set. Just come over here just to make sure because it kept switching to landscape mode. It's going to take, ugh, I meant to change which page this was on. It's going to take this forever to print because there's other stuff here. It's going to take forever for this to spool. Mommy, you know I almost put Uncle Melon on Brian's, and I had to remember that ain't none of his sister. <laughs> thinking about Jack, I mean, thinking about Teresa and Chantel, I almost put Uncle on Brian's shirt. The design vault will not be until 2022, 2022, because it's, I'm so mad they only had medium cups for the frappe. I wanted to be like, can you put my frappe in, uh, um, in the, uh, what that thing called? The soda large cup, because... Oof, this medium did nothing for me. Um, for the designs, I have a lot of them that are made like for me because I know how to use, utilize the program. So I know I'm going to have to go in and tweak it to make it a little bit easier for others to use. Um, like how I have certain things grouped together or made into a compound path. I want to fix that where it's a little bit easier for a beginner. Because I will look at it and I will know, okay, I need to ungroup to do this or release compound path to do this. Some people may not. So I like to make it as, as easy as possible for people to use. And then I'm going to have to go in and like um, right now, I technically could release part of the vault for templates because I have them in silhouette form. Going to SVG form, very easy. But when I have to take it um, and to convert it to a Photoshop file, it's a quite a, it's a couple more steps for that. I really wanted it to be one zip file that had all the different versions in it. And that's what I was like trying to wait on to do those. But I could technically release a lot of the silhouette ones. And I really don't want to offer any other ones. It's like, look, I teach silhouette. <laughs> So I should sell just silhouette templates, but we are looking to pivot um, and I will be doing other teachings. So I'm trying to offer it in other programs as well, but silhouette as a crafter and just like as a creative silhouette studio is my go-to as a brand. I'm branching off from Silhouette as far as it being the main part of my brand. So 2022, because I have to take a lot of those files and make them where they are ideal and also take some of them and make them PNGs where the set colors are set. You just have to print them out and others where you can change them and then set them up as Photoshop files. Um... 
I did my first print and cut with PPD transfer paper, use Epson 4100 printer, and the colors are not vibrant. What do you recommend for my next time? Um, what print settings? Let me know what print settings you use because that's that's important. So what print settings did you use? You have to hurry up though. We only have a few minutes. Um, I got my sample of HS paper. I have a 2720. Do I need to change any settings and where can I find it? I'm not sure if you need to change any settings because I'm not sure what settings you currently use. Um, but we do have um, our settings, which I'm gonna put that on. I keep, for, keep forgetting to put that on the website where you can just easily get to it. I'm also going to add it to our link tree. So if you go on any of those, you go to our link tree, you'll be able to find like those videos easier. Um, but go to, if you search YouTube, honestly speaking, sub settings, you're going to find the settings that we use. I use the same exact settings, whether it is the 2720, um, 7710, 70, like it's the same exact settings. The only thing that might be different is I know with the 78, um, like the newer one, it doesn't have, when you go to quality, there is no more settings. You have to just go to high, which I'm going to just do another video for it. And then um, certain printers don't have the thick envelope, thick paper and envelope. You just don't worry about it. That's the only difference. Do I have a video using edit points? So I have done a bunch of videos where you guys have seen me do them. I... Um, I made a mistake and went live. Uh, so some people got to see me play around with edit points as I manually edited down a bus. So I have like a general one, but I really, really teach edit points in my memberships. I don't have like, I don't have an, even on, on my academy, I don't have a dedicated video just for edit points. We have sessions within my membership for edit points. I'm not home. I will check tonight. Okay. Yeah. And just post it in one of my Facebook groups. That's the, the best way to kind of post that. Cause tonight I'll probably be a little bit um, um, slow with responding. Cause I got a lot of stuff to do. Um, so my mom posted it there, but if you're not, they're not on Facebook, they won't be able to click on. So you don't have to go to the Facebook link, um, the Facebook broadcast to be able to see it. Does the 7720 have an option for, Yes. It does on the printer and on the settings. Okay, so let me see. I just did great. Oh, you want to see kind of how I am organizing this? So uh, on this list, it has like the title. Oh, I have to do another mommy. This is not cousin. This is mommy melon because she's the second mommy. Um, so these are the ones I've already done. And then these, as I print one off, I'm going here and just marking it to know that I printed it off. And then, of course, once I press it, it'll become yellow. So now the only one that I have to do that doesn't have anything is the one for mommy. Um, and I actually already have his. Let's see. It goes right here. Insert. I believe he told me large. I'm about to verify that. But his has been printed. It's not done yet. So we're just going to go like that because it's been printed. I just didn't press it because I wasn't sure about the size of the shirt. He told me, and I remember because I told him to email me to text me. Um, but yeah, only one I have to do now is this one and put mommy on it. And that's kind of how I keep track of what I have printed and what I've already done. All right, we are at one out. Thank you so very much. You make my day every single time you drop a super sticker or a super chat. Thank you so very much, Four Corners. I really, really, really appreciate it. Y'all go show four, show four Corners some love. Make sure you guys go and subscribe and all of that good jazz over there. All time. All time. And good morning. Now, I've, I've worked myself into the afternoon. Um. Also, don't forget... The code for the template vault is still valid right now. 
that particular one is 365 and that will get you $105 off. So it's still on pre-order, pre-access because no items are in there yet. You're getting in at a great deal, ground floor. It's going to be so many templates in there. It's going to be ridiculous. Um, so that code is still valid for $105 off. And the website is hsinc365.com. You know what? <laughs> Thank you. My husband going to think you're trying to... Um... <laughs> Thank you so much. Like, you don't understand. Like, I... Oh, thank you. I thought it was the same one because it was blue. And that's someone else. Thank you. Thank you so very much for your, your super sticker as well. Um, I mean, it's the little things that just, um, it means so much. You know, I really, really appreciate the support. I love what I do here. Um, you know, we have a product line. I have classes. Um, once these are monetized, you know, you guys come back. It, you know, we, this is our business. This is how we make a living. And all you really would have to do is just watch a video to support us. Share a video. Just like the video to help the algorithm. If you are someone that sublimates, um, try out our products. That's, you know, that's supporting us 365. So it's about support 365. Like, you know, just, you don't have to purchase something from us, but just sharing us, sharing out the content, um, you know, letting other people know, giving other people the website and stuff like that. I have a shirt that says my favorite humans and it says buys from and that's crossed out. And then it says supports my business 365 days a year. And that's very much so true. So when I see like the super chats and stuff like that, like that's on top of the fact that you're just watching the video. You're on the YouTube video, which means you end up helping my platform when you came on because the monetization is on. You had to watch an ad before you came in here. Um, that's support and just watching it. But then to go and see people actually also drop super chats and stuff like that, like that's something that you don't have to do no matter what the amount is. I am very, 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 very grateful for it. Um, um, I mean, it, it, it just blows me away. Like every single time, no matter what the amount is, it literally blows me away every single time. Else, get on here. And I, one of my students says, Shakia doesn't know how to take compliments. I, it, it is harder for me. Like, this is just what I love to do. So sometimes it is a bit harder. Like, I don't expect it. And I, I blush and I get embarrassed every single time someone does it. So. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, definitely go over there and subscribe, 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 subscribe. Support. I mean, anyone that's going to get on these platforms and share with you their knowledge, support them, support them, support them, support them. There is something that you're going to find valuable in this, even if it's somebody that's new they're learning like you. They may not be the greatest, you know, person for submission. They might be doing some things that are slightly, you know, not quite right or things like that. Um, they may make some mistakes. Even I've been in this game for a long time and I still make mistakes. But what you'll find out is there are some people that operate just like you. Some people did not like when I first had Zion Imani. I, I'm a, I, I carry my children. I'm a breastfeeding mom. Um, I was a cloth diapering mom. So, uh, some people didn't like it. My, my, it was just me, just me and you yeah. like just me and him here, even was at work, but I still had to do what I love to do. And that was, and this is my business has been my business for so long. Some people <laughs> did not like when they heard Zani Mani or I have to go, okay, pa. And it's like, it's a distraction for what I'm doing. But then there were so many others who were like, okay, if she can do this with this baby on her hip, I can do this because I don't even have a baby and she's still doing it. Um, it's little things in how you do it. Like what I think might be different from the way somebody else thinks. And you might be able to get an idea from one person 
but maybe the way somebody else does it, because maybe you can't afford or not say afford, but maybe you can't ha get certain supplies, whether you don't have access to them, maybe they're sold out right now and things like that. But somebody else is showing a technique that can work for you. You can learn from so many people, even somebody that's new um, as they're growing. It's so awesome to see, because um, even with mine, to watch people's videos when they first started and to see the growth and the change. And some people like, channels where they can grow with someone, you know, as you're learning and you're sharing like, Hey, mess ups and all I'm learning, come learn with me. Um, and we'll all be great together as we progress. So anyone that is going to give of themselves, give of their time, because it, it still takes time to upload these videos, right? If you're pre-recording, so you have to take the time to record it, making sure things are in the right spot, um, and make sure that, um, things are in the right spot, make sure that your lighting is right. So that takes time, right? So once you go and you record it, you got to go back and watch it. If there's anything messed up, you may have to edit it. You may have to piece things together. Um, a lot of this stuff takes a long time. I'm one, I ain't got time for it anymore. You either go and watch the whole process, watch it, come back, flip through later on. But if I'm going to share, I'm going to share the fact that it took me two hours to press all these show. Well, it was also between talking to y'all and stuff like that. If I just work um, like today, like I might just work so you can see how fast it goes to complete all of these shirts. Um, but it still takes time away to where I could be doing something else. I took two hours on something that should have taken me an hour to do in order to help others. Um, once you have to edit that down, that's time. So anybody that is a content creator and that's putting out any type of content to help others, please, please, please support. I mean, the least you can do is give a thumbs up to them um, for that, okay? Um, just buy your products. Um, let's see. I'll be ordering my paper again soon. I'm hooked. Uh, you taught me to love my cameo. Florida love. Yay. The template vault consists of what? I'm sorry if you've already answered. Um, pretty much every template that I have created. So there are, there's going to be sublimation ones. So like if I had a sublimation blank, I, cre I create my own templates for everything. I don't rely off, I don't try not to do like random measurements. I make my templates um, so like the gable boxes, my phone, like my templates to create my phone board buildings. Um, I have the templates for like the paper mache letters. If you want to do print and cuts for those, paint them and then kind of decorate for those. Um, I have templates for chip bags, vultures, juice pouches, uh, like, um, different boxes for, um, all sorts of things. So they're blank templates. My yard signs, um, are the only ones that have like design elements to it uh, for like the backgrounds. Um, and then the Memorial fans will also have some design elements to them as well. Uh, the graduation one is more so like just shapes and like the words are already there. You just you go in and just change the colors and stuff like that. So like pretty much templates that I use all the time, my templates for selfie frames, I have some that have like, you know, different size cutouts in the middle, some that just have like a regular square, I mean, rectangle, some that have a square, one that's like in the shape of a pillow. I have one that's in the shape of an apple. Um, I have so many different like selfie frames. So any templates that I have, it's going to be in there. The way in which we treat another man's business, his system of wealth creation will determine the success you see in your own wealth. Um, I just subscribed to you for corners. Don't forget Shakira will sell paper by the case. Wait, I sell paper by the case if you are a business and produce a lot. Great value definitely is. Um, I've been following you for years before the little one. <laughs> and if it hadn't been for you, I would have uh, would have gave up a long time ago. I love your videos and openness uh, to help. I suggest you to everyone. Thank you so much, Kat. Yes, your name is one that's been around for a long time. Thank you for what you do. Appreciate it. Um, when you're on Facebook, uh, you have to exit out to give the video wait, to give the video a thumbs up. Um, let's see. That's on YouTube. You have to close out the chat. All right. 
I got the vault last night. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, y'all. I got to go because he presses on. We have, it's at 324. I'm going to go and grab these shirts. So come on back. Uh, I am going to press out these shirts and then I will be live. I will, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to be live for all of them because they'll slow me down. Um, unless I literally tune you guys out and I cannot um, play music. So if you will literally just be watching me, it'll be, it'll almost be like, what's that thing called? It's just sound ASMR. So you said, cause I will just be going through and putting those boxes together. Um, yeah. So that's that, but I will be live in just a moment to do these shirts and then I'll probably start another one as I do the gable boxes. I'm going to clear off this table that's a hot mess so that I can sit in my chair and do them because I can't sit in my chair at that desk. So I'm like, oh, damn it. We're going to have to move all the cameras. I might leave that over there. I don't know. But I'll be live a few times today, completing everything. So y'all come back out, hang out with me. They'll all be on the Honestly Speaking YouTube platform. So be sure to subscribe to the Honestly Speaking YouTube platform. Um, because that's where they're going to be at. All right. All right, guys, until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity. I'm going to find my banner. <laughs> oh gosh. It's a totally different one, but I'm going to do that one because it's still the same thing, but continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.